Greetings, everybody. I have returned to Disneyland. Uh, it's like a second home. Feels so good to be back. <laughs> uh, okay, just try to reel it in. Anyway, hi, how you doing? I wanted to bring you guys along with me today. I've got a bunch I've got planned or like to do, but I was thinking it would be kind of fun if I showed you how rope drop works and what you can do in the first couple hours if you don't go to Rise of the Resistance immediately. A lot of people are going to do that, so if you're watching this and you want to do Rise, you can totally do that, but if you're planning on doing some other things, you can get a lot done, and I'm going to show you multiple versions of how to do this. So, enough of the preamble. Let's get to work. So as I like to tell people that if the park opens at 8 a.m., which is a kind of normal time right now, they will actually start letting people in like you're seeing right here down Main Street, USA, starting around 7.30 or so. And something to keep in mind if you want to be here right at rope drop. That's the term we're using today. What, again, does that mean? Well, oh, hey, there's Wesley. Hi. <laughs> um, but, uh, what rope drop means is that you get to walk all the way up to the hub and they'll keep you cordoned off with a actual rope before you can get into the rest of the areas. Now this is a, a time honored tradition here in the Disney parks and in the past what they would do is they would like literally just drop the rope and people would kind of scamper. But now they try to walk people through. I know we're all very excited, but don't run. <laughs> I feel like it's like a little PSA I have to say because I want to run as well, but I don't uh, So so difficult, but basically you're gonna make a decision right here You're walking straight down Main Street USA because that's what we're doing. All right, you can go left You can go right you can go straight, but it all depends on what you want to do Now there are a few main things that people head off for as I said at the beginning of the day or rise the resistance it's kind of the major thing over here at Frontierland people mostly go for. However, you can go straight ahead, that's into Fantasyland, which is gonna be Peter Pan, or head off to the right, most people are heading for Space Mountain. But today, you guys know me, we're heading over to the left. We're going to Adventureland, baby. Oh yes, because I'm gonna start my day with Dr. Jones. One thing to keep in mind if you want to go on Indiana Jones Adventure colon Temple of the Forbidden Eye is that if you'll be over here waiting for Adventureland, what they typically have you do is line up over on the side here to go into Indiana Jones because they have like a line that forms. However, you want to leave this little pathway here like three feet or so because they have cast members coming in and out and you want to be conscious of that sort of thing. But again, if you want to go Indiana Jones, stick over to the left near Adventureland when you're going in at the beginning of the day. And here we go. The rope drop's happening. We are in it. Get to make a bunch of friends. That's how it works. Keep a visual. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Remember, if you're going to Indiana Jones, you're stay to the left. Stay to the left. Yeah, this is a, an actual representation of how this actually works. No editing happening here. This is right where I edit something. No. <laughs> Jacques. It looks like Indiana Jones and Jungle Cruise are down right now. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This is this is ruining the video. Okay, this is what you gotta do in Disneyland. You gotta adapt. You gotta overcome. Well, as most people head down that way towards Rise of the Resistance, I'm gonna hang a right around this terrifying construction wall because we're heading over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yes, here we go. Oh my gosh. Now in the future, Indiana Jones, you know, is not going to be shut down every morning like that and Pirates of the Caribbean will be reopened. So you can hit those two in a Haunted Mansion usually pretty quickly. So keep that in mind. This is just a different type of day. But again, when you're in Disneyland, just get ready to adapt to situations and to look up stuff before you come to make sure that your favorite attraction is actually open. Okay. Apparently there's some sort of inside joke that's like, all right, Jimmy's trying to make a video about rope drop. And none of the attractions will be open. Oh my goodness. So Big Thunder <laughs> is also down. <laughs> all right, well, that's okay. We're just gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep shaking. We're heading over to Fantasyland. I'm guessing that Peter Pan is already a 45 minute wait. 
I will say this though, it's eerily quiet around here. It's kind of peaceful. You're literally walking through a park right now. It's just it's a theme park with attractions that are not operating quite yet. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. This will probably be the shortest this line is all day for Alice in Wonderland. So I'm gonna hop on because I really enjoy this attraction. So this is unprecedented. Space Mountain is down. And if we go over here, a little bit further, look at this. Look at this. Jungle Cruise is down. Indiana Jones is down. Big Thunder Mountain is down. Everything is down. This is incredible. Here we go. That took a little bit less than 10 minutes. It is now 8.17 a.m. Howdy, boys. Where's that white rabbit? Ah! Ah! This ride is so good. It's so good. Hi! Oh. Whoa! What the heck? A little croquet with some royalty. All right, I think it's going well. Uh-oh. Uh Whoa! What the heck? You'll never take me alive! <laughs> yes. Uh, there it is. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, there's the monorail. Oh, it's the shot. Look at it. Look at how beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Hello, everyone on the monorail. Yes. That's also another way to get into the park. If you don't want to walk the whole way down, if you're coming from the Disneyland Hotel or Paradise Pier or something like that, just keep that in mind. Pro tip from Jimmy. We're making the best out of a less than favorable situation. And that just means there's one guy we gotta talk to. In bad situations, there's only one person we can trust. And that's Jay Thaddeus Toad. We're gonna go see him. Oh my gosh, and it's a short wait. Ah, we're gonna hop up to Toad's Wild Ride, let's go. There he is, my buddy, Mr. Toad, I love you. I do. Look at him, he's like, I didn't do anything bad. Yes, he did. Yes, reckless driving, endangerment. Destruction of public property, all those things. But you know what? I still love him. Flawed as he might be. <laughs> he might be one of my favorite Disney characters. Mostly because of this ride. Has anyone seen the movie? Have you guys seen the movie? Let me know if you've seen the film that he's in, along with the Think About Crane stuff, Sleepy Hollow. Ooh, it's freaky. Well, once again, driving recklessly like my buddy Toad likes to do. <laughs> A little devil. Where are the other little devils? They pop up. They're popping up. Look at them. Howdy, boys. Howdy, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. Bye bye. Oh, Pinocchio's gonna try to be the king of England. Pinocchio, you got this. Oh, that'd be amazing. Nice try. That was very good. That was very good. <laughs> oh my gosh, what if Pinocchio were the king of England? That would be incredible. This is quickly becoming a fantasy land vlog, and had I known this, I probably would've gone to Peter Pan first, but we're still getting on all these rides. And just a quick update for everybody. It's currently now 8.29, so it's been about a half hour since the park has been open. Gotten a few things done. And I don't think Snow Light will be too long of a line. Hopefully not. Yeah, here we go. Peter Pan's flight, at least, what is it saying? It's saying 30 minutes right now, I believe. That's probably accurate, if not a little bit more. It's just a slow loader. Yeah. I would love to see this get upgraded in the sense that they have it in Paris where they've got two rows. Because maybe that would make it a little bit faster. And I know in Walt Disney World they have a moving walkway that just continuously keeps people coming through. But I'm not sure if that's something they cannot do here. I would love to see that though. But yeah, that's probably the only major Fantasyland dark ride that we're not going to hop on here at the beginning of the day. I do like this queue line. 
gets me nostalgic for the one they had over in Walt Disney World all those years ago now, which is now a princess meet and greet. Is that Fairy Tale Hall or something like that? I miss Snow White's Scary Adventures, even though it did terrify me. And fun little fact about me, yours truly here, the hag or the Wicked Queen, or Quicked Ween, whatever you want to call her, when she turns into that old woman. The scariest Disney villain, probably because of that ride, actually. But she scares me more than any other Disney villain. Chernobog, fine with. Oogie Boogie, not a problem. Jafar, that's fine. But her? She doesn't even have a name. We don't even know what her name is. I can't even get, that's maybe part of it. It's like I can't just be like, ah, yes, Melinda, you know. <laughs> or Bellatrix, you know, like thinking of other villains with a name like that, but yeah. She scares me so much. I don't know, she's an intimate sort of horror, as it were. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to anybody? Am I just rambling? I don't know. I will prove it to you. I will show you my reaction to her. I have no acting involved. It's just gonna be genuine reaction when she spins around. You'll see what I'm talking about. Also, we've got Doc as a vehicle. Give Doc the shotgun. If you know, you know. Here we go. Hi everybody! Oh! Here we go! No, please! No, no! Oh, watch her, she'll turn around. There she goes! There she goes! It's just darkness, you can't, I, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't, uh, I don't, I, I don't, I prefer no apple, thank you. <laughs> I'm now leaving Fantasyland where most of the rides, they're trying to kill you or put you in prison. We're heading back into Frontierland because Big Thunder Mountain has reopened. And I think it's one of the only major things. I keep looking, Indiana Jones still down, Jungle Cruise still down, Hyperspace Mountain is down. What is going on? <laughs> They're like, everyone's coming here for Rise. Don't open up any of the other attractions. Just open up that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that's the working theory. Looks like these Canadian geese are just getting in the parks now. They just do whatever they want. Hello, neighbor to the north. He's so cool. Never seen them this close before. Don't approach the birds though. No, I'm, I'm still a little ways away, but I just thought this was interesting. I was like, huh, you have to fly out of here or hop over something at some point. Well, you have fun there, goose. <laughs> I might be calling a bit of an audible here. It was 15 minutes, now it's up to 25. Kind of ruins the whole point of me trying to do a bunch of rides, but then again, all of them being shot down at the beginning of the day kind of ruins that too, but still. I'm gonna head back over to Indiana Jones, see if they're just about to open, because maybe I can walk right on it. Oh, that'd be great. This is crazy to me. This is usually a choke point throughout the rest of the day here, but right now, the Jungle Cruise and Indiana Jones Adventure, call it, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Being down, you just have nobody. It is um, incredible. This is like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It feels like I'm here before the park or it's a special event or something. Ah, but sadly, sadly still down. Who knows though? Maybe I'll be patient. Maybe that's a bad idea. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to it though. We'll see. Also at the time of this recording, Tarzan's treehouse is still down for refurbishment, but they don't have the bridge here. Oh my goodness. Things are changing. So maybe this will just be something else if they don't put a bridge back up and you just enter over here. I still think they'll probably have some sort of bridge thing here. I'm not sure though. I've seen some rumors online about this, but I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I try not to buy too much into rumors like that. We'll just see when it opens up what it's gonna be. What would you like to see it become? Because it used to be Swiss Family Robinson and then turned to Tarzan. Might turn to something else here. Even though I, by the way, still love Tarzan. I love Tarzan so much. It's one of my favorite films that Disney's ever made. Yeah, yeah, I'm a mama's boy though, so that tracks. Also at the time of this recording, Pirates of the Caribbean, my beloved, is under construction. And as you can see over here, they're doing a lot of work. It's like all dirt and equipment down there. It's interesting. It's so crazy to see Adventureland and then New Orleans Square 
be so roped off. Look at all of this. You can't go back to Blue Bayou or anything right now. Oh my goodness. This is intense. <laughs> it's so quiet. This is another part of the park that's usually just crawling with people. Man, this is this is amazing. This is definitely out of the norm. But this is stuff that I recommend you look into before you come, or at least somebody in your party looks into. Just so that way you're not coming and you're thinking, I get to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. And then it's not open. Because <laughs> that would be very sad. But one attraction that is open, well, that's the Haunted Mansion. Yes. Yes. We're going to go see our friend, the Hatbox Ghost. Also, a quick thing. Because we're in New Orleans Square, and I, the narrator's great, the ghost house, you know. But what if they made him, like, Cajun? Would that kind of, like, just kind of plus it up or bleed it into New Orleans Square? Let me know. Maybe that's heresy. Then again, I prefer the Nightmare Before Christmas version. It's actually not a bad wait at all for Haunted Mansion. And if there is no wait or next to no wait, they'll post it as 13 minutes, 1-3. So if you ever see that and you're thinking, seems oddly specific. <laughs> It's just because the number 13 is unlucky, and that's kind of the joke. So keep that in mind if you're like, oh, should I ride it? I would go check it out because there's a good chance it's going to be a very short wait. They're having a party. Look at those guys up top. Oh, how spooky. Uh, looks like they moved the Mickey plates. The chair is still knocked down, though. You know, it's maybe one of the nice things about being a ghost with a dancing partner like this. You, know, you just go right through it. You go through the table, through the chairs, you don't have to worry about it so much. It's the perk. It's a perk. Hatbox Ghost! There he is. Hi, buddy! That's a great trick. Can I see it again? Can I see Can I see it again? Can I, can I see it again? Can I, oh, 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 oh! There it is. Ah, yes. Stopped in the graveyard. How freaky. As a child, this would have made me lose my mind. I would have been like, ah! Like that. See, they, they toned down the speed of the popping heads. So that's nice because they can be quick. Or they used to be. Look at the band playing though. Looking great. A couple of cats over here, some owls. We've got this kind of like skeletal hound. Oh. Teeter totter is not really going off today. That's okay though. Man, there's so much to look at in here. It's great. All right, which one's it gonna be? Here we go. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, he's doing great. Oh, oh we're slowing down. Hello. Again, if a ghost followed me home every time, there wouldn't be 999 happy haunts, all right? That's just not how it would work. Math. Well, this proves it. I'm a legitimate madman. Going on Splash Mountain next. Oi, oi, oi. I'm sure I'm missing Brer Frog right over here, but I think I'm gonna see him in the future at some point. Yes, that's foreshadowing, folks. It's our little owl friend. Hello. I love you. <laughs> all time. <laughs> oh, 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 here we go. Howdy, boys. Wiggle on toes. That's what you get. Oh, his eyes are crazy. <laughs> Pretty good, sure is your bone. I love this song. Uh, the smells are so good. Lighting has changed. Yes. And you can see more things. It's so nice. I love it. And it's almost time to show you guys the secret rump. It's coming. Oh, here comes oh, the water. Is so scary. There we go. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, a little bit. All right, here it is. Everybody, look. It's gonna be right where my finger is. Yeah, right there. Right there. Can you see the secret rump? Here we go, guys. Got to brace yourself. Hey, they got the second bird back. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Good to see it. That guy's still in darkness, though. A couple of them in darkness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Here we go. And here we go. Flashback got us. <laughs> so we were a little front loaded in the car. I was sitting in row four. My leg got it the worst. You can kind of tell. Kind of like uh, Jurassic World the ride. A little bit if you're sitting in the wrong spot. A little bit on that, and a little bit on this side too. 
but not so bad, you know. I can't complain too darn much. Those rides I was talking about before are still down. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll be back up soon. I just want to show you the first couple hours here, just kind of show you how much you can get done if you're not doing Rise of the Resistance. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But I'm glad you guys are with me. It's currently 9.22. Well, time update for you and hyperspace mountain just reopened sitting on a 10 minute wait i'm saying it quietly because if everybody here is they're all just gonna start running so i'm gonna see how long it takes us to get from over here critter country over to tomorrowland oh baby here we go oh that was me just a few minutes ago <laughs> that was fun <laughs> change of plans 10 minutes for indiana jones it's right here we got to do it let's go literally just walked through the entire queue line oh that's like a rope drop right there, baby. That's like a rope drop right there. that line now oh my gosh a lot longer than 10 minutes Woo! striking it rich however hyperspace mountain is also now 35 minutes <laughs> jungle cruise was open and now is not again i think it's like some sort of skipper joke you know uh, <laughs> hopefully we open later but yeah uh, again you just have to be adaptable when you come to the parks just remember that that's the one thing i preach it all the time but it really is something to consider oh my gosh i never noticed this again a parrot up there. You guys see that? Like right, right at the top of my finger? Oh my gosh. Never noticed that before. That's amazing. Hyperspace Mountain is now up to a 60 minute wait. It's a little too spicy for me. I want to do it. But you know what? I can wait. There's one thing I want to end our first attempt at rope drop with. And that, well, you guys can probably guess. You can tell where I'm walking right now. <laughs> you feel like, oh yeah, I know where he's going. Get ready to chant, everybody, because it's time. It is time. So good. Uh. <laughs> the Matterhorn, so good. I even rode it again. And they were letting me choose which line I got to go in, and I chose Tomorrowland both times because I normally don't get to do Tomorrowland as much. They usually put me on Fantasyland. That's just one version of what it can be like here. Rope drop, the first two hours or so of the day. Because it's only been about two hours, and I did all those rides. However, we are going to go in a completely different direction, do a little time shifting. I have special powers, I can do this. I'm gonna show you what it'd be like if we did it pretty differently. Are you guys ready? Here we go, ready? Okay. We've restarted the day. Oh my gosh, now we're gonna try it a little bit differently. Head counterclockwise around the park. Hopefully we won't have a bunch of closed off attractions this time. <laughs> At least, I hope. <laughs> but yes. I'm gonna start with a more of a normal style day for yours truly, more of an adventurous style day. Let's get to it. Starting off with Indiana Jones Adventure, colon, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Danger, high voltage. What a great thing to describe this attraction. Oh, it's electrifying. Oh no, that bamboo pole is the only thing keeping us from being skewered alive. It's nice to see that's back here. Oh, it's good. Pretty much just walks down on here, just getting on the ride. Not even a five minute wait. Just goes to show if you rope drop, you get on some of these big attractions basically immediately if they're not called Rise of the Resistance. We are gonna be rich. Oh yeah, baby. Oh no, not again. Uh, uh, 
make it any worse, right? We'll just leave, I suppose. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Indy. And what? Hold that door of spirit shut. Okay. Oh, goodness. Indiana Jones Adventure, colon, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. It was so great. Love getting on that right away in the morning. I'm calling a bit of an audible, though. Doing something I don't normally do. Usually I head right over to Pirates. But what if I go to Big Thunder right away after that? You know, because Pirates typically has a shorter queue because it just is such a high capacity loader, and I love that about it. What if I head over to Frontierland for a little Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? Ooh, let's see what the wait time is. Oh my goodness, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, five minute wait? Uh, yes please. Looks like my train's coming in, and you know where I'm sitting. Cause back row is the only way to go. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh. Yep, you wanna ask for the back? Cause it's the absolute best. Well, let's do it. Big Thunder in the morning, baby, here we go. <laughs> it's such a beautiful morning. Uh, overcast a little bit. Now you guys are gonna do the goat trick. We're on that second lift field, baby. All right, remember to stare at the goat. Just stare at the goat. It gets harder for me because I have to hold the camera. I hope it's looking at the goat. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so good. Ah. Wait for it. And there we go. Oh. Hey, there we go. Okay. Big thunder in the back. Mint. Mint. Oh my gosh. The only thing that makes that ride better is when it's at night. Because then it's just it's darkness. You're going which way? You don't you never know where. Oh my gosh. Whoever knows. But now I'm heading back over to Pirates. I think this worked out really well because I didn't have to wait very long for this at all. And Pirates will probably still be kind of a walk on ish situation. I hope. They actually just opened up the other lane, so I'm actually going to be getting on a bit quicker than the folks over there, which that just worked out as a happy accident. But wow, this is, this is great. Also, I'm going to hold my breath as I go in to this first room so you can see my reaction to bromine without being horribly backlit. It'll all make sense momentarily. Here we go. Oh, oh it's so good. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I love you, pirates. Dang, waited just a few minutes, now just walking on. Like, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it was like, it waited, and then they opened up the other line, and now we're just gonna hop on a boat and go. Oh, yes. One of the greatest attractions of all time. Here we go. I love this room so much. Out of all the theme parks in all the world I've been to, this room might be its top three out of every attraction. It's just, look at all this stuff. Look at it, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. A lot of people look over to the right to see Employee of the Month over there, but if you look over here to the left, you'll notice there's a ship that is sunk, like a little, a little boat, I should say. Yeah, not a lot of people look at that. Because they're too busy looking at this guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's so good. Barbosa, you're the best. Send in him to Davy Jones. It's the Rumbling Monster. We have been momentarily delayed, but as you can see, we're going to climb that lift hill. There's some boat that's actually stuck 
up there. That's actually probably not a fun place to be stuck. I don't know. But yeah, we're just hanging out here now. A lot worse places to be hanging out though, that's for darn sure. Fire for Gary and so good, so good. But a little birdie told me that there's only a 13 minute wait for the haunted mansion. By birdie, I mean the Disneyland app, so that's where we're going next. See, I told you guys 13 minutes. Yeah, which basically a haunted mansion means it's more or less a walk on, which right. is fantastic. Oh yes, here we go. Nothing like being back in the mansion, right everybody? The horror overlay on in full swing, everything's spooky. But it's not too long until Halloween time. Oh boy. I say it every time, I'm so sorry. Wizards and witches, wherever you dwell, give us a hint by ringing a bell. Excellent. The most terrifying place to be trapped. And here I am. But also, look at this. There's a mini version of the Haunted Mansion. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there, I believe. I forget what this house is. I don't think it's Phantom Manor. I know it's basically impossible for you to see, but this tiny little thing right We here. have been on the blood oh. of oh. Spirits. Okay. Kindly remain seated in your doom, Well. We will continue our tour momentarily. <laughs> Oh, we're sitting here. Also, a little backstory, that's Constance Hatchaway. As you can see, her one of her husbands right there lost his head, because Constance is an axe murderer. I believe she had five husbands, killed them all, rough stuff, but you get to see a little bit of stuff from their weddings. Yeah, and you hear that music, here comes the ride. Yeah. Well, is an evacuation going to happen? Stay tuned. Howdy, boys, which one is it gonna be today? Please not top hat. Oh my goodness. Every single time you've got to be kidding me. Uh. <laughs> Another trip into the spooky realm of the supernatural. Haunted Mansion, not bad. Actually it says 13 minute wait still, but I don't know, I think that time has jumped up a bit. And I'm heading back to the rest of New Orleans Square. And I'm gonna head over to Fantasyland. It's probably pretty crowded at this point, but still within this first two hours, we're still within that limit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little over an hour right now, actually, believe it or not. I'm just cruising. But like I said, this just shows the power of the rope drop, baby. Oh, so good. Using my little back way into Fantasyland. One thing I love about Disneyland is that it has a bunch of little hidden pathways. I think a lot of theme parks kind of do. But I feel like Disneyland specifically has so many that you might not know about. And I love this. Because you transition out of the frontier into fantasy. Ooh, and it's just so good. Look at this, sneaking on through. Oh, I love it. I also should clarify, it kind of brings you to the hub and then you still dip left into this other back way. So it's like a back way into a back way and also Disney Duck. Oh, yes. Right as you walk in Fantasyland, Peter Pan's flight, always like 35 minutes, 45 minutes. It's just always so long. Snow White's Enchanted Wish. I would guess it's probably about 15, 20, maybe. Do you know what ride? Probably has no weight at all. We're trying to get a lot of rides in here. And that's Pinocchio's daring journey. Let's do it. Yes, Pinocchio. An actor's life for me, I agree. Oh, it's taken a dark turn basically immediately. Yep. Jiminy, oh, Pinocchio Village. Pinocchio owns his own village. It's very impressive. Oh, look at it. That reveal, though. Uh, where do people land on Pinocchio? Do they like it? It's like three different little stories in one. Oh. Try harder, boys. I will just head back to Pinocchio Village. That was kind of terrifying. What? Oh. That's actually, it's kind of freaky. It's like kind of freaky. Ah! We're almost there. All right, we made it back. And he's a real bull. Oh, no, he's still a puppet. Okay, I guess that's in the sequel, right? Wow, celebrity sighting. I saw Geppetto earlier, and there's Aladdin. How cool is that? Oh, 
Good for him. A real rags to riches story. For folks who've been watching the channel for a while, they'll know when I'm heading down this way, there's pretty much only one thing I'm coming to do. One, makes sense, single, single rider. That's right, I'm off on a Matterhorn bobsled. Now again, you can use this if you're part of a group, you're just gonna get split up. And that falls within our first two hour limit. I think we're probably gonna walk right onto this. Oh, I can't wait, Matterhorn! Oh, she's beautiful. The Matterhorn bobsleds, yes. And, as luck would have it, I am in row number six. Man, I keep getting in the back while well, I asked for it, you know, I'm Big Thunder, but I have Big Thunder, Matterhorn, Pirates of the Caribbean, even Haunted Mansion, they let me sit at the very back. Our land side, it's gonna get rough, everybody. Ugh. Everybody. <laughs> It's a small world, it's only five minutes, so yeah, we're hopping on, we're hopping on, not a problem. Yeah, I was talking about the uh, Haunted Mansion overlay earlier. The overlay on Small World is also excellent, and I cannot wait to see that again. It'll be so good. Jasmine's looking right into my soul, my goodness, so scary. Uh, well, there you have it. Two hours has elapsed. Now let's go back over what we did today. Indiana Jones Adventure, colon, Temple of the Forbidden Eye was up first. Then we went over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion, Pinocchio's Tearing Journey, Matterhorn, and then finally, It's a Small World. I think it's pretty good for two hours. I think so. Like I said, I did, you know, that other kind of in the beginning that you can see one version of how this beginning day can go and then this is just another version. You can do it a whole bunch of different ways, however which way you like it. These are just some ideas, some options for you. Just to let you know, the early birds get the worm or like in one of my last videos, like the late night owls also get the worm too. <laughs> so there's a lot of different ways to do it. Either way, I wanna know what your strategy is when you come here in the beginning of the day. If you have one, please let me know. And just know that I appreciate you being here for this really long video, kind of talking about all this stuff. It means a heck of a lot to me. I appreciate you. Thank you. Also, I really appreciate my patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me financially. You guys don't have to do anything. Just you know, donating your time watching this means a lot. Thank you. Until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye.